<coughs> Hello, thank you all for coming. My name is Debbie. I'm here to talk to you about health and safety. Yes, everything is dangerous at all times. Take, for example, this. The common coat hanger looks absolutely harmless to the untrained eye, but turn it like this, up your nose, and you're dead. Hand wash. Clues in the title. Use it on your hands. Don't use it in your eyes. I'm a trained professional. I'll put it in my eyes now and show you that within seconds, you'll be out. Clothing. Always cut out the hanger tags, or as I like to call them, manufacturing death traps. Yes, these things, you fall into a lake, your hand gets stuck in it, you will drown. Seat belts. There to protect you, designed to kill you. You get caught in a crash once too far up, <coughs> neck straight off. Two words for you, zipped top. Now, I'm a professional, I know what I'm doing. Use it too hard, take your eye off the ball, face ripped off. Hair brushes, one of life's most deadly weapons. Now, if you think about it, brush your hair a few times, taking off layers of skin, down to your scalp, down to your skull, what's under your skull, your brain, you'll be brain dead. Hi, I'm Debbie, and this is Safe Cooking with Debbie. Salt, Britain's biggest killer. Place into the oven on gas mark five and destroy it. Organic free range eggs. Nobody knows where these eggs have come from. Birds come from eggs, but what else comes from eggs? Yes, dinosaurs. Bin. Let's talk serial killers. Quaker oats, originally founded by Quakers, now found by a guy who looks like he works in Foxton's. Can't be trusted. Always keep the labels on everything in your fridge. For example, this. Is it hummus, mashed potato, a little bit of crack cocaine perhaps, or worse still, cheap hummus. Get rid. Power tools. Keep them out of the kitchen, keep them in the work site. Unless you're wearing an AA approved British grade hairnet, hard hat, goggles and a gas mask, you're not safe. You've been watching Safe Cooking with Debbie. You're safe, I'm Debbie. Hello, I'm Debbie and this is Garden Safety with Debbie. Balconies, or as I like to call them, human sieves. If you can get your arm through, you can get your leg through. If you get your leg through, you can get your head through. If you get your head through, your arm through, leg through, you're through. AstroTurf, keep it on the football pitches, keep it off of London rooftops. All it takes is one particularly gusty afternoon, this wraps you up and you end up in your inevitable deathbed. Fairy lights, or as I like to call them, strings of death. All it takes is for you to take your eye off the ball, one loops around your neck once, twice, three times a lady and you're dead. Barbecues, essentially a rogue oven. It's outdoors, it hasn't been approved by a Corgi registered professional and it's running on propane gas. You're one sausage away from obliteration. Deck chairs, the garden bear trap for humans. Put one of these bad boys up the wrong way and you'll be losing more than just your dignity. This was no accident. You've been watching Garden Safety with Debbie. You're safe, I'm Debbie. Hi, I'm Debbie and this is how to vote safely with Debbie. Once you're in the polling station, the pressure really kicks in and the last thing you want to do in a very important referendum is have an accident. That's why I always bring a diarrhoea tablet. Pens, or as I like to call them, disease sticks. Always take your own pen to a polling station. Never use a communal pen, otherwise you'll be leaving with more than just indecision. That's right, herpes. Think long and hard before making your decision because once you put that black cross in that box, there's no turning back. Unless you bought a Tipex pen. Voting is a private and personal affair, so if you want to avoid being noticed as you exit the polling station, it's recommended that you bring a disguise. I brought with me an inflatable guitar and a Dolly Parton wig. You've been watching Vote Safety with Debbie. You're safe, I'm Debbie. Hi, I'm Debbie and this is Wimbledon Safety with Debbie. Queuing, for the British public, less of an inconvenience and more of a way of life. You attempt to push into the queue at any point and we're all armed with tasers. The weather. When it rains, it pours. And the last thing you want to do is be caught in one of those damn pours and look like a complete fool. That's why I always suggest to wear an umbrella hat. Strawberries. Oh yes, they'll be trying to pummel these overly priced seeded fruits down your throat for the next few days. Just be aware you can't prove they're being washed and effectively you're eating balls of disease. Two words for you. Cliff Richard. If you see this man, try and stay clear because the second it starts raining, yes, he will start singing. Be warned, when watching the women's tennis, they'll be making inappropriate noises more commonly associated with baboon mating season on an Attebra documentary. Always bring your earplugs. You've been watching Safety at Wimbledon with Debbie. You're safe, I'm Debbie. Hi, I'm Debbie and this is Holiday Safety with Debbie. Plugs. Always take your own AA approved British plug with you. Never trust those foreign plugs unless you want to be electrocuted like a convict on death row every time you plug your hairdryer in. Thought not. 
bleach. Spray on your hotel toilet seat. Spray it on your Caesar salad at lunchtime. Unless you want to suffer with dengue fever and explosive diarrhea, protect yourself from the foreign germs. Factor 15. Factor 20. Factor 30. What do you get if you add them all up? Yes. Factor 65. Wear anything less and expect third degree burns. Mosquito repellent. Yes, if I want to give blood, I'll go down on a Wednesday to my local NHS clinic. The last thing I want is some grubby, greedy fly taking liberties with my haemoglobin. Tutong Baruku Wakahini. Yes, just some of the useful phrases in this guide to barley. Always have one of these handy. It will help you order your dinner or help you get out of a threesome in a Thai jail. Passports. I like to keep mine around my neck at all times, even when I'm not going on holiday, because if somebody else gets their grubby mitts on it, you might find yourself smuggling three kilograms of cocaine up your back passage just to get it back. You've been watching Holiday Safety with Debbie. You're safe. I'm Debbie.